بعض التفاصيل اللي تم الوصول اليها. This is a with modern houses, as you know, with electricity, tap water, and TV. If we go back in time about 300 years ago, Oman was a mighty seafaring nation, nation with large fleet trading with faraway countries in Africa and Asia during, during the Jaruba dynasty. هو يحب يذكر عمان قبل 300 سنة كيف كان وضعها وكيف كان النشاط التجاري أهم نشاط للعمانيين وين وصل العمانيين وين وصل العمانيون حتى في إلى في في أفريقيا. If we go further back in time, about 1,400 years ago, the Prophet Muhammad brought Islam to the people, and Oman was quick to embrace the new faith. يتكلم ايضا عن 1400 سنه لما بعث النبي صلى الله عليه وسلم وكيف كانت عمان سباقه في الدخول الى الاسلام. Then we go back even further, further back in time, about 1800 years ago. In that time there was the height of the frankincense trade. No fewer than 3000 tons of frankincense were transported each year from Talala and other cities in Southern Arabia. أيضا حب يذكر عمان قبل 1800 سنة وكيف كان تجارة اللبان كان تقريبا يصدر 3000 طن من جنوب عمان إلى عدة دول ومنها نعم دول البحر المطور. If we go back 3000 years to the first millennium BC, the palace was invented. نعم نتكلم ايضا قبل 3000 سنه كيف كان الوضع الاقتصادي في عمان وكيف كان التطور كان يقيسوا التطور بتطور انظمه الري في عمان قبل 3000 سنه. هو يتكلم انه شق الفلك شقه قبل 3000 سنه وتم شق الفلك قبل 3000 سنه. نعم. يعني الفلك يقول عمره فوق 3000 سنه الان يعني. هذا الفلك اللي هنا في في فلك شبع. And also about 300 and 3,000 years ago, the camel horse came and became a faithful companion to the Mali people. أيضا يتكلم عن الجمال في السلطنة وأهمية الجمال قبل ثلاثة آلاف سنة وأنها كانت طريقة الأفضل للتنقل ونقل البضائع. And if we finally go back uh, about 4,000 years, the first civilization existed in Oman, and al Kasba was one of its main centers. How many years ago? 5,000. He thought that there was a life in the Oman 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 in And uh, this time of the third millennium BC, it's called Hasi and and uh, Umana, and I'm sure many of you heard already about the two periods, Hasid and Umana. Umana, Hasid Umana. Umana. Now, he is talking about the effects that have been used in Hasid and in Umana. It's a mistake. And it's a mistake that we have found here in Umana. And this is a map of uh, Umana with the uh, Umana قبل خمسة آلاف سنة أيضا هم يعني تم اكتشاف بعض الآثار المشابه هنا اللي في الخشبة مثلا في حسيد في هيلي في الإمارات وأيضا في باس في عبري وأيضا في بسيا أتوقع هذه في بهرة أشياء مشابهة يعني لما تم اكتشافه هنا. The Hafid and the Manas period formed a uh, time of great invention. Um, copper was first worked in Oman, pottery was first produced, and Oman was actively participating in 
far-reaching trade along the Arabian Gulf, trading with all countries along the Gulf from Iraq to Pakistan. So, yeah, these this are all uh, 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 files which we have been made uh, during the last five years, mainly in Bath, this is pottery from Bath, this is from the 3rd millennium BC, this is all pottery. This is a flag, an oven fragment from al Hashra. Okay. Uh, this is a, a cylinder seal, this is a bead. Uh, this bead comes from, from the Indus, it comes from this, uh, from this region. Uh, the cylinder seal comes from Mesopotamia. It shows the connection along the Arabian Gulf. So we did your video for the last five years. From 2010, we started the excavation in Bath. هو هو بدأ هنا في عمان في سنة 2010 يعني تقريبا أكثر خمس سنوات أو أكثر وهذه أغلب هذه الأشياء وجدها في بات أما هذه الأشياء اللي في الوسط هنا وجدها في هنا في الأشجار. دوتا what are those? Which shows the, the copper production. This is flat, no hat. Yeah. And these are oven fragments. So, uh, tenor, uh, oven. Tenor. And uh, with a catch with the, with the flat. The only fragment. حصل على بعض القطع النحاسية وأيضا حصل على تنور هنا في هذا المكان حصل على تنور. الظاهر أنه كان فرن لصهر النحاس. Okay, this was the general picture, and now we have a closer look to al -Hashra. This is a normal Google image from al -Hashra. and uh, many buildings of the Hafi and the Malaf area can be found in al -Hashra. Easy to recognize in the landscape are the tombs. They are circular structures made of stone and serve as burial places uh, for whole families. هو يتكلم عن أيضا يعني اكتشاف بعض بعض الآثار اللي تعود لأصل حجري في بعض القطع تدل على أن هذا المكان كان يعني كان في حياة مدنية من العصر الحجري. And you know these places, this is the big hill, the main street close to the city now road, and we have here a lot of tombs. In this area. So in, this, in, the, in the whole area, we have tombs of this uh, period, 5,000 years old. Some of the things and some of the things that are in the Jebel, which is in the middle of the village, there are also some things that are similar to the Jebel. The same thing happened to the Jebel, which is in the middle of the village. And this is the Jebel that is in the middle of the village. Also this one, and this is from Bath, from the excavation we made before. So we have the impression if one would excavate these tombs, he would find something like this. This is human bones. This is human bones. This is human bones. Yeah. These are human bones uh, in, in uh, similar to from Bath. Yeah. Oh, yeah. This is just 30 centimeters below the ground. This is in Bath, right? This is in Bath, yeah. yeah. This is in Bath. Sometimes they are empty, but uh, in general, they are all filled with human bones. فهو يقول إنه في بعض الأماكن ما حصل على شيء لكن متوقع أو أو حتى يأكد إنه في أشياء كثيرة تحت فهو خطته انه الثلاث سنوات القادمة ثلاثة اشهر من فبراير لابريل يكون هنا في رخشبة لاكتشاف المزيد. Okay, this map shows the location of the towers in Bath, the, the bigger building. 
Die Ammoniumente der Building vom 12 Millennium AC und sie nennen sie generell Tower, obwohl wir nicht wissen, dass sie speziell sind. هو ما قدر لحد الان يتوطن وش كان الاستخدام الخاص بهذه الابراج من 3000 سنه قبل بس هي اكيد انها يعني للاشياء الدفاعيه. If you look to towers in all Oman, they can have a diameter of more than 30 meters. And so far around 17 towers are known from Oman. هو هو جار كثير من الابراج هنا في السلطنه وشاف كثير من الابراج انه حتى قصور بعض الابراج قصورها يوصل ل 30 متر فكيف يعني هي يعني ضخمه جدا. So far, we know seven towers in uh, Al Hasba, and with this, Al Hasba uh, is one of the biggest sites of the period in Oman. Also, Hili and Bad had six or seven towers, but this means it's the same level Al Hasba. هو اكتشف هنا سبعة سبعة أبراج ويقول إنه هذه المنطقة يعني اتساع منطقة الآثار حتى إنها أكثر من اتساع منطقة بات في في وهو يعني هذا مركز عليها ويجعلها واحدة من أهم المناطق اللي يبحث فيها. هذا الآن النقاط باللون الأصفر الأبراج اللي تم تدميرها. وهو يقول انه بسبب البناء عليها اما هذه اللون الاحمر لا زالت موجوده للاخوان اللي يعني انضموا بعدين هذا الدكتور كونراد بس للاعاده الدكتور كونراد من الجامعه الالمانيه وهو هنا لاجراء بحث علمي بالاضافه الى 20 الى 20 باحث طلبه طبعا من نفس الجامعه. In order to better describe these towers we as archaeologists have given their names, which is only one, two, three, four. يعني لما جينا البحث هو أعطى أسماء يعني يعني للخد للتوثيق لأن في في علم الآثار عندهم لابد توثيق كل شيء ولكن ما حدد أسماء معينة بس حدد أرقام. So that's why you see now building two. تم هذا المكان المبنى رقم اثنين او الثنايا رقم اثنين. انا سالته ليش ليش ما تعطينا اسماء؟ ممكن انه حتى في اقتراحات من اهل البلد. بس هو قال هو قال يعني ايوه اسهل لعمليه البحث العلمي. هو هذا هو هذا قواعد البيانات. خير ولا اكيد. So this is another tower we call it building five and you all know this. 
and uh, we have made some excavations. As you see, it has not only the main wall, which is the main round wall, but it also has a few uh, walls in front of it, which protect it from the body. والتخطي شاف انه في حيطان اكثر والهدف منها هي الحمايه من الوادي. And our first work here that when we came last year was not to start the excavation but to walk over the surface and collect everything we found. What we found I show you in a minute. هو حتى يعني لما شاف الموقع ما ما مباشره بدا في العمل ولكن هم هم يعني مشوا ايوه على على كل الحدود وكانوا يجمعوا بعض الاشياء اللي يعني توقع وجود اثار في كل مكان على طول الخط. For instance we found the heart copper which shows us that uh, at least one function of this building was processing the copper. فهم اكتشفوا نحاس ويتوقع انه كان يعني يوجد نوع من نشاط من 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 عمل النحاس. أو مصانع للنحاس. Do you think it's a copper factory? Yeah, some sort of workshop. Yeah, it's a factory. 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 It's a So there they obtained their water from. This is the first and also the second thing that in the river, يعتبر هذا من اهم اكتشافاته. برج هذا لكنه ما ما دائري، يعني من العاده الابراج اللي يحصلون دائريات، اما هذا مستطيل. نعم هذا هذا الحين من الاثار اللي اكتشفها وطريقه العمل يتوقع انها من قبل الثالث قبل الميلاد. احجار استخدمت يعني. But many of you maybe know this this wall with these um, uh, drawings on top, but these are not 5,000 years old. These are from Islamic period. Uh, they show camels, horses, and so. Oh, no, there's there's a design. Yeah. You see this this man sitting on a horse. في هذا الجدران اكتشف بعض الرسومات. بعضها للجمال والخيول بس هو يتوقع انه هذه ما عمرها 5000 سنه هذا الرسوم حدثت في عصر الاسلام. And it's very typical for many wadis for buildings of have these uh, drawings. So it's very typical for the Islamic period, let's say maybe 200 years ago. They are typical to date because they are on top you can you cannot date them exactly. هذه منتشره كثير في في عمان. ولكن اللي هو قدر انه يتاكد منه ان هذه حصلت في عصر الاسلام يعني في في فيما بعد بعد مستر الرسول صلى الله عليه وسلم. Okay, and these are uh, very badly preserved uh, uh, buildings also of the Hafiz period. This is where our second excavation site is, the, the hill, the hill. And there you see if I take it away, you just see uh, just see this round wall, put it again, you can see it. But they are not so good preserved. Yeah. Um, هو شاف بعض الأشياء الإضافية أيضاً مشابهة لما وجدوا في فاس 
ولكن لحد الان يعني ما توصل الى اشياء واضحه بالنسبه بالنسبه له ما تمت المحافظه عليها ما تمت المحافظه عليها ايضا and these towers cannot only build uh, on stone they also can build on mud and this is two weeks ago i didn't know that that there is a building from this period made of mud but then two weeks ago we find these things in our excavation which shows us that there are big buildings uh, made of mud bricks which is we also can call towers, but they are not stone, they are much great. I think it's a thing. Uh, this is our, this is where this is our excavation site, uh, the first, first one, the, the big one, and this tower is very deep, it's a three meter deep, and inside uh, these uh, mattress towers, uh, it's a reconstruction, it's not finished yet. هو هو لا زال البحث جاري واللي عمله إنه هو حفر ثلاثة أمتار تحت الأرض لاستكشاف ال. They might be even a little bit bigger than my reconstruction at the moment. I can tell you next year better their size. <laughs> Another question people often ask him is uh, what did you find? Did you find gold? And I always say no, we don't find any gold. It's too, it's too early. We only found copper fragments, pottery, sharp pillars. Uh, and I must say uh, uh, they are, for us, they are less than gold because they contain a lot of information for us. في كثير من الناس يسألوه وش وجدت هل حصلت على ذهب؟ فهو يقول لا ما حصلت على ذهب ولكن يقول إنه هذه الأشياء أغلى من الذهب بالنسبة له بالنسبة له هو وأيضا لنا نحن لأن الذهب يعني فقط يعود بالعايز مالي أما هذا يعود بكثير من المعلومات والتاريخ على المنطقة. <تصفيق> If I hope that show to you, I'll talk about a very important and special rich place. And it's very important for the archaeology of Oman. Yeah, he shows the Khashab from the important places here in the Sultan for the exploration of many of the ancient things. It was a temple that they were building. It is a unique ceremony. That Oman was a highly developed country already 5,000 years ago. Therefore, it is important to preserve this heritage for future generations that they can also learn about this important culture. هو يقول إن هذا بحث بحث استثنائي ولما اكتشفوا أو يتوقع وجود الحياة البرية قبل 5,000 سنة. وهو يدعو يدعو الجميع وايضا انا متاكد انه بيت راح يتكلم مع الناس المختصين للحفاظ على هذه الاثار. Unfortunately many of these sites not only here in Al-Fatiha are in danger. Some of them are already destroyed as I told you before and uh, some of them uh, have uh, some like like this one the electricity line cut in one of the two. <laughs> 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 يتمنى يعني
يتمنى هو انه يكون يتم لان الاثار اللي توصل يقول تستاهل انه المحافظه عليها وهو يتوقع انه الجميع يوافقوا على على هذا الكلام. You can you can also help us with our research. You can also help us with our research. We would like to know more about Al Hashfa and its surroundings. ونتوقع ايضا مساعدتكم ولاستكمال البحث في الخشبه وفي الاماكن المحيطه. Especially we would like to know if there are other tools or places with pottery or anything like in rock art, anything uh, I don't know yet, but you know, and you can tell me, and then uh, I can use it in order to to build a bigger picture of Al Hasba in its own place. يطلب من كل واحد منكم اذا كان يعرف اي مكان اخر في توقع بعض الاثار انه يتكلم معاه او يتكلم مع اي شخص يكون هنا متواصل معاهم اعتقد انه ابو محمد يعني ما شاء الله من البدايه كان تابع عندهم على اساس انه هو يكمل هذا البحث او يبدا ايضا البحث في اماكن اخرى حتى لو لو هو يقصد ايضا في قصائد او في اي شيء تاريخي يعني يحتاجوه All that remains for me is to thank you for coming and uh, thank you again for your attention. هو سعيد انه عمل بحث هنا في الخشبات ويشكركم على حضوركم Thank you for your attention. ويشكركم ايضا على استماعكم اذا كان عندكم اي اسئله بامكانكم استئذان. If you have questions I'm open The places. قريب من قريب من سوايا واحدة عند المدينة عند المدينة شيء جايبين قهوة الشباب شوف بعدين بشوفه يمكنك تشوف الفيديو ايضا دكتور راد اظن راد بروفيسور not running out. So this is... Uh, just two shots, huh? Do you have another? Do you have more than this? Yes, more than this. Of this, around 2,500. Only from one side. <laughs> 
هذا فرن اللي يسمر فيه النقاط فرن دائري It was maybe attached to clothes ah. or as a necklace. Ah. Only one. <laughs> of this, we have all together from last and this year ah. not more than 10, so very few. If, if you would excavate like in Bath a tomb, you, you find 500 of these inside the tomb because they are about gifts. In these excavations, there are no tombs, so you only find. <laughs> and this stone, it's a knife. Oh. You see? For cutting, yes. This is Hafid period. This is the time before the invention of copper. Mm. So, no, no bronze tool, nothing. Not, not available. The only thing they had is the stone tool, like this. For this? <laughs> this is also for the pudding. They just brought it for from the sea it? and put a hole inside and then it's for, it? for the wife. For, 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 <laughs> I don't know. for wedding day. For the kids. Yeah. For bride. Black. You see, it's very heavy. Yeah. Also in the heart, it's, it's just smaller pieces, so also in the Where is the cover, kind of cover that you find here? This is cover. Little after cover. smelting, after smelting. So they, they brought the, the, cop, the, 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 the copper ore they brought from the mountain. And one is boy, it's very close to here. So maybe from there, maybe from another place. They brought the stone, put it in the oven, put uh, burning material, maybe wood, maybe grass, I don't know, underneath. Then they fired it, and then the copper is running out, it's fluid. And this is just the rest. Just rubbish. Okay. See you. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. Now I can't take it for the future. It's live now, live. Five viewers. But my picture is not there. Yeah. Yeah. 